Hi everyone! As you already know, Sam is no good as a real estate agent. Hey! Why are you calling names, Sue? <laughs> Let's see what kind of builder he will turn out to be. <laughs> Actually, I come from the most famous dynasty of builders in Tibidaba! Do you know? How interesting! We've built so many houses, but for some reason, I've never heard about that before. Here. It's all because I'm very modest! Phew. Didn't mean to brag, you know! Yet another thing I learned about you today, Sammy. <laughs> now it's time for a little trick. One, two, three, four, voila! Um, Sue the Crafter, is that you? Yes. There's a letter for you from a certain slick swan. Here, take it, please! Hmm, I wonder what it could be. <gasps> wow, he said the missing textures! Uh huh. Carefully carved by me. And it's quite noticeable, Sammy. There's so much pink in here. <laughs> well, since this is Sam's house, it should be visible from afar. Sam's house? Actually, I also participate in this grand construction. Oh, that's right. Then you can choose the interior decor. Oh, really? <laughs> well, this is to my liking. Let's go. Well, Sammy, what do you say? Will the dolls like this interior design? Oh, down, I got this! Uh, Sue, something else came up! What are you... Ouch! Wow, what's this for? Well, it turns out that I also promised to furnish the house. But don't worry, I have prepared the pieces. Did you know, huh? Well, you're in luck because I love working with mini furniture. Let's make the edges of this piece neater. Like this. Great. By the way, you also could do at least something. And I'm doing! Come on, don't get distracted. You will see. Oh, how mysterious. <laughs> well, the mattress is in its place. And our bed matches perfectly the color of the walls. You know that I have many alter egos, right? This is the gift from Sam the Seamstress. Whoa, Sammy, these are so pretty. Right, fellows? If you agree, give a thumbs up. And you were worried that I was a bum. Well, our nice bathroom can't do without a dressing table. Let's put it right here. Looks great. What else can your alter egos make? <laughs> here, look. Sammy the Carpenter has done his best with his spacious closet. It's amazing. But Carpenter Sue wants to add a little extra. Well, now everything will fit in here. <laughs> To me, kitchen is the most cozy place in any house. Let's make it functional. Put together the pieces of the oven door with a wire. And it will be able to open and close. Oh, you can only do. You're an engineering genius! And why is there so much surprise in your voice? By the same principle, we'll make a cabinet door. Everything is simple. I understand that this piece of furniture is angular for a reason. Yes, there will be a sink here. As soon as I figure out how to install it. You call the plumber. Ha <laughs> I'll do everything for you in no time. Ha uh ha! -uh. And the work is done, miss. <laughs> oh, you and I are just a dream team. Check out how I neatly installed the cooker. Let's finish this piece of furniture with a nice decor. I think we did great. The main thing here is to take all the measurements correctly. And this rack with shelves will look awesome on this wall. Oh, how many sweets can be stored there? Um, look out, Susie! I'm on my way! Oh, that's lovely! And the table can be put here, for example. We almost forgot about, about the refrigerator. refrigerator! That's right, without it there can be no kitchen! Here we go! Well, I think we did really well. Now we need to finish putting up the walls here. And of course, from this side as well. And here's the banister. Safety's above all, you know. Give a thumbs up if you agree. And why is this garage left without a door? That's better. Now we're talking very handy. Oh, do you hear this? <gasps> this must be our roof. Let me help. <laughs> Susan, there will be one more roof. Got it. Just a little more. And everything is securely in place! Excellent! Mission accomplished! <laughs> now that's a completely different look. I will add only one detail. Huh? I can see how the tenants will drink coffee here in the morning and tea in the evening. Speaking of tenants, Susie, I can't understand. How will the dolls get to the top? By ear or something? Of course.
course not. I'll show you something. We have never made such a letter before. This is the very first step. We'll do the rest of them just like this one. And each step will be different colors. Now I'll just make a neat edge. It turned out just perfect. Not really, Susie. Perfect is when it's like this. Huh? What? Wow, great move, Sammy. This is cool. Am I right, friends? Come on, people. Let's count how many steps there will be. <laughs> <laughs> I got 11. What about you? Ouch! All right. The steps can do without the perfect banister. Let's use some magic. And a finishing touch. Hey, make way! A staircase worthy of the best dolls. It's time to invite them to their new home. Stay tuned, everybody. Please come here, ladies. Stand the reader. Always keeps his word. We'll see about that. Where's the house? Are you ready? Susan, open it up. Pull up. <gasps> Whoa, check, check this out. out. Wow. What a great balcony. And I always wanted a canopy like this! Oh, oh thank you, Mr. Realtor! We'll, we'll tell our friends to come only to you! Would you like a photo to remember the very first day in your new home? With pleasure! Oh, what, what a, a great, great idea. idea! Stand closer, and now let's say slick slime! Bip bip! Watch out! Reverse motion! Be careful! I'm parking! Perfect! Wow, what a heavy basket! I have to be careful on the stairs! Hop, hop, hop! Oh, I just love all these colors! And the banister is just stunning! And the last step! So I should start with the kitchen! Let's see what we have here! A saucepan! It belongs right here on the stove! And here comes another one! And this is a place for kitchen utensils! On the rack, we will place plates and bowls! Oh, how great it turns out! Moving always makes me hungry! Hmm, I should cook something! Oh, so far the refrigerator is completely empty! But a quick run to the store will fix things easily! Now let's quickly cook a delicious vegetable stew! Huh? Ah, oh, smells amazing! Well, well, what have we here? So many beautiful outfits! Let's find a place for them! So that this beautiful dress does not wrinkle, let's carefully hang it on a hanger! Now we'll put it right here! Excellent! How nice to have such a spacious closet! Everything fits here, and even more! This should be right in the drawer! Hop! And hop! The view from up here is simply magnificent! But the balcony is kind of empty! Hmm, a potted plant will fix that! Let's add some water! Wow, that's what happens when a balcony is on the sunny side! Applying makeup here in front of the mirror every morning is a mere pleasure! Hmm, this wall is clearly lacking of cozy decor! <laughs> the most favorite photos of just beautiful pictures will do! Let's hang him a little asymmetrically! To me, it's the best! Wow, what a comfortable bed with a soft mattress! Oh, I feel like taking a nap! I haven't had time to see everything yet! What a wonderful mini garden! What else is needed for happiness? Oh, it's good to be home! I think we did great! Do you agree? Then how about a little room tour? <laughs> Let's go! Hi everyone, check out what we've got here. An LOL surprise hair goal series package? Cool! I didn't know we were unboxing today. We're not, Sammy. This is just one of our old capsules. Ah. And if you guys remember, here under the top cap, there's a hairspray container. We love LOL dolls, and it's especially great that they come in these awesome packages, which are also kind of a playset. Oh yeah, now give us a thumbs up, everybody who at least has one LOL doll! Alright, Susie, let's get started. I have a hammer, and you got a drill. Chill out, there won't be any actual construction work. Oh. 
For starters, I want you to help me pick wallpaper. Hmm, I must say this color is not fashionable anymore. Okay, how do you like this one? It's brighter. No, no, pink is too plain for that room, you know. And it will make our Asian baby look pale. Okay, you know what? Then I want to hear your suggestions. With great pleasure. I happen to have everything here. <laughs> wow, Sammy, you've got exquisite taste. Oh, I really want to have this wallpaper in my own bedroom. Just say the word, Susie, and Roger and I will reconstruct your bedroom before you know it. Why don't we focus on our craft for now? Guys, you should be very careful here and don't rush so that there are no wrinkles on our beautiful walls. And of course, it is very important to use correct measurements. Your craft should always look neat. If you have trouble with cutting and gluing, remember that you can always ask an adult to help. All right, next we're gonna need foam paper. A little mirror, a few beads. Ugh, I'll just go get everything myself. Susie, are you sure you don't need my help? Okay, at this stage, glittery foam paper might really come in handy. Now this little piece goes here, and we've got ourselves a shelf. Hey Susie, I couldn't find a small mirror. Is this sticker any good? Hmm, I think we need something more sturdy. Don't worry, I'll ask Roger to help me adjust it. In the meantime, here's a cute dressing table. Now this wall looks a bit empty, right? Should we make a couple of extra shelves? Shelves are too boring, Susie. Wow, would you just look at this, guys? Sammy, this mirror is amazing. Although, we could add a few sparkles to it. <laughs> so, Sammy, if not the shelves, then what do you think we should make? A sink! What? Trust me, I know that it's better to have a sink at hand while doing makeup or a hairdo. All right, and what do you suggest we make it out of? This! It's one of the packages left from the LOL surprise playset. And you always tell me to throw stuff like this away. That's quite an idea. Guys, support our frugal slime with a thumbs up. Here we go. Carefully press a little. Great! Susie, we can make a water tap from the wire. And I even found a perfect piece, but now I don't know where it is. Strange. Where? I know. Right behind you. Ha, that always happens to me. By the way, I really like your idea. Let's just bend the wire this way to give it the proper shape. And now we'll just add this cute bead to make the whole thing look more real. That's all right, Susan. This is just what I had in mind. Now, guys, I'm going to show you something really sparkly. Whoa, this is very interesting. That is a lot of glitter. And what's it all going to be, Sue? Interesting. You're about to see what. Let's take this off. And voila, a beautiful ottoman is ready. One of a kind. <laughs> and this addition will make it match the whole interior of our room. Wow, are you impressed, guys? I know I am. Don't go anywhere and you'll see more. Guys, now we will make a few accessories for me. I'm so excited. And we're going to use quite an unusual prop this time. That's right. Guys, these are the rubber parts of regular pens. Now we'll carefully cut one. This way. And then we'll simply wrap it around another pen rubber piece, like this. And that is how hair curlers are made. Now let's take one more pen piece and cut it in half. Oop. Great. Next, we're going to use a piece of a glue stick and put these two together. This way, we'll get a tiny deodorant stick. Wow, guys, how cool is that? All right, now let's use one more rubber piece and a piece of a glue stick to make a mini version of the hairspray. A black marker will help us make this thing look real. You might also want to decorate your hairspray. Any beautiful rhinestone will do. Speaking of rhinestones... Uh, Susie, check out this cool perfume bottle that I made! Just look at this, guys. I bet there's a Slick Slime signature fragrance inside. <laughs> Let's place it here. And this is a custom-made scent by Sue. <laughs> ha 
How about something sparkly, huh? That's a great idea. Guys, this way you can make pretty much anything that you want. Before you use pens for your craft, make sure that nobody needs them to write something down. Or you can use some old pens that aren't fit for writing anymore. This way, your craft will become eco-friendly in a way. Shiver me shatters! What happened, Sammy? Oh, I just spilled some glue all over myself! But don't you worry, Sue, I'm fine. I can see that! <laughs> and you actually gave me one more idea. Our doll might also need paper towels. To me, that's the world's coolest idea for a dollhouse. Do you agree with me, guys? Then you should give us a thumbs up. Well, everything seems to be in its place. Let's see what Agent Baby thinks of all this. Just remember, you are free to tell us if there is anything that you don't like about your new room. Deal? Then let's do this. Hmm. Oh, interesting. Sammy, I think she's ready to share. Right? Uh-huh. Hmm. She says that this room is just like what she saw in her dreams. But... But, so you see, she isn't sure that her current hairstyle allows her to use all these props. Well, of course! How could we forget? Check out what I have here. Our doll will look more beautiful than Rapunzel with this. But first, let's make a couple of adjustments to your makeup, sweetie. And Grandmaster Samuel is back again! What can I fetch you? A makeup brush or a paintbrush? Actually, I already have everything that I need. Nail polish too? Seriously? And a little bit of glitter. Just look how beautiful this color is. We'll sprinkle it on our doll's eyes and they will become very sparkly. Oh, how come I guessed that wrong? All right, Master Samuel, I'll take this. I help. This way, we'll get rid of the extra glitter from her face. Ooh, and check out what I did with her belongings. Wow, these shoes are glittery too. I just love them. I'm sure she will look gorgeous in this dress. Brilliant! Now we can finally deal with her hair. Let's use some magic. Voila! Oh, she's so beautiful. And I love that she has such long and soft hair. Guys, our renewed agent baby here is ready to look at everything that we made today. Sammy, what kind of trouble are we talking about? What? LOL dolls are torturing me with all that last play! And you are entertaining yourself here with air plasticine instead of helping me! Oh, since you're too busy to play along with the dolls, you need to come up with an exciting activity for them. Trust me on this. And crafts from an air plasticine are very exciting. Well, I don't think that those fidgets would want to sit quietly and sculpt. What in the name of cookies? Hey, how did that get there? Well, it depends on what to sculpt, actually. They will hardly resist a new playground. Oh, <laughs> you see? They are already helping. If that was a stone in my bucket, Susie, I'm actually helping too. Um, and where did the assistant go? Okay, this goes right here. There you go. The basis for the first swing on our playground is ready. Here, Sue. You work with plasticine, so you need a rolling pin. <laughs> You're just in time. But you miscalculated with the tool. <laughs> Such a wide plastic piece will work much better for us today. And we can even see how funny the shape of the plasticine changes. <laughs> you can make me a new hairstyle from it as well. I'm like Rapunzel, huh? Oh, could you lend me a couple of your beautiful strands for the craft? Uh, so it's not my destiny to change my image today. You can have it. Um, Sammy. Ha, <laughs> well, okay. Come on, Sammy, I don't need much. Just a few to make the loops so that the seat of our swing can be holding tight, like this. Is that what you call I don't need much? Everyone will laugh at me like that. 
They will have no time to laugh because they will swing. The final touch. And we're done. Aw, oh, what a beautiful swing. I like it. So fun. Ah, uh, Susie, there's only one swing and so many dolls. If you know what I mean. Don't worry, Sammy. I always know what you mean. No playground can do without a proper seesaw. Whoosh. All right. Huh. Looks like you're making a solid base for it now. That's right, Sammy. One more piece. And it's done. The next step is even easier. We'll make the central part of the seesaw and attach a couple of seats and handrails to it. All that's left to do is to put it all together. Come on, Sue, do it. I can barely hold it. Ugh. Okay, okay, got it. Well, now everyone can have some fun. Wow, that's, so that's lovely. lovely. Let's try it. Woohoo! All right, I'll be on this one. I'm coming <laughs> on this one. <laughs> Woo! Spin, spin, we, we want to spin. Ah, spin, 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 Sue to the rescue. <laughs> I also loved carousels when I was little. Oh, I wish I could ride them right now. This is so breathtaking. Yeah, the main thing is not to get dizzy. Whoa, whoa. Well, our carousel won't be spinning too fast, but it will defo be very bright. So now I need some kind of central piece. Here you are. Oh, <laughs> no, I need an axle. Can you help me with this? Oh, of course. Well, when did I let you down? Uh, this is coming here, now this one. Here you go. That's just what I need. Oh, my fattest you. You could have just said that. Why, thank you. We're going to take a small piece, which needs to be fixed on this side with plasticine. Hooray! <laughs> we can spin. Oh, not so fast. The craft isn't finished yet. Don't be in a hurry. There you go. Sit here for a while and make us something beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, yeah. Keeping in mind the speed of the wind and the force of the rotation. What are you doing? Huh? I'm here to help you. Because you're working so slowly, Sue. So impossible. What are you talking about? And what is this? Where is your help? Give me back my notebook. <gasps> now I see. Well, thanks, Sammy. All I need to do now is put it all together. Let's check. Yeah, everything works great. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! Carousel! Oh, <laughs> it's a mini Sam. No, no! There can only be one me in the world! He does look like me, though. So, our playground is growing little by little. But we need a slide. Oh, I remember the slides in TV Daba. First, you go up for like half an hour. And then, wah! You're flying down at the speed of light. Uh, and you land right into the pool. Awesome. Seriously? In Tibi Daba, are the pools right on the playground? Well, yeah. Pools with plastic balls. There are plenty of them. Balls, balls, balls. We want a pool with balls, too. Uh, who pulled my tongue? Come on, Sammy. That is such a great idea. Let's make a little bend. That should be enough. Slides ready. And we'll make a pool with balls on the count of three. I'm counting. One, two, three. <gasps> Shiver me shudders on the count of three indeed. <laughs> Did you doubt me, my slime friend? <laughs> Apparently, we're going to need a lot of balls here. That's it. That's it, guys. Easy. Put everything here. It's so fun. Wow. I and like so it. Many beautiful <laughs> balls. <laughs> each other, do you hear me? Slide down and turn! Whoa, whoa, ah! <laughs> <laughs> I wait! Stop! This is outrageous, Susan. Huh. Now they're taking my stuff. Sammy, don't be greedy. They will play with your skateboard and then give it back. What if they break it? Holy cannoli! Now you see? Oh, that slime artist. <laughs> It's good that I foresaw something like this and decided to make a skateboard. Phew! Took it back with a fight. Oh, this is so beautiful. What is it, Sue? You don't have a clue, oh quick-witted slime. Well, what if I do? This? Is it clearer now? <gasps> it's a skateboard! It's awesome, isn't it, guys? Then give us a thumbs up! Let's tighten the wheels a little so that they hold on better. And we're done. Ha -ha, let me try it! What? You again? Oh, all this running around gave me one more idea. To make our playground even more beneficial for the dolls, let's put a basketball hoop on it. It's fun and trains the muscles. Did I hear that right? Did you say basketball? I just love shooting hoops. Are you now? <laughs> Honestly, guys, this is the first time I've heard of this. Are you serious? 
I am widely known in narrow circles by the nickname Sly and Sam. Can you prove it after filming this episode? Well, I, uh, haven't trained for a long time. I'll go now. That's just what I thought. <laughs> Hup, and the net is ready. We'll attach it to the shield. Oh, do you hear that? Looks like Sam's already shooting hoops. Uh, whoa! Ugh, <gasps> Trevor made shatters. Uh-huh. Seems like our flying Sam did not fly up, but down. Oh, Sue, I don't think my skills are up to par. Then maybe it's time to start training them? Well, of course! Where's my dream team? <laughs> let's not interfere with their workout, guys. Besides, I have some plasticine left. So let's make something fun. Uh, not that. Uh, probably not this, either. Now we're talking! Sue, I'm thinking that the spring would help me jump higher. What do you say? You literally read my mind. If we glue one end of it to the base and the other one to our giraffe, we get another great rocker. Oh, how cute is this? Forget about jumping. I want to swing on it. But, Sue, there are no bushes or trees on our playground. I'll be right back. What? Where did he go? Here! This bucket and a shovel will create a real miracle. Well, let's see. Hey, you forgot the bucket. Oh, thanks. Let's dig some holes here and there first. And now let's add the magic seeds from the bucket, like this. Well, we can't do without life-giving moisture. Let's water our garden properly, like this. And a little bit here. Uh -huh. There you go. <gasps> you see? I told you! It's magic in its purest form! Guys, do you agree with me? What are you saying? You didn't see everything properly? So, we'll fix it. Guys, today we're gonna put together a dream team to save the toys world! And these little cuties will help us with this! Why don't we start with this little cutie? Uh, phew! It's hard to be a superhero! Sammy, stop! What are you doing? Woohoo! Since we're turning a doll into a superhero, we need to sell a special costume, don't we? We do, but we're gonna use something different! Acrylic paint? That's right! Let's get started! First, we need to paint her whole body with the red paint. <gasps> hmm, she wears a tight red costume. I think I know who she is! Go ahead, tell us! I bet the guys just can't wait to hear your theory. Isn't it Scarlet Witch? Er, uh, this decor should help you get some better ideas, Sammy. Well, what do you say? I'm a smart young slime, but in this case, I don't know what to say. <laughs> Sammy, even the wildlife is trying to give you a hint. Ladybug? Really? She rocks! Yay! Here she is in her famous red polka dot suit. By the way, guys, don't forget to wait till the red layer is perfectly dry before you start making these tiny black dots. Thanks to video editing, we could miss that step! But you better not! In the meantime, we will draw one of the most important parts of a superhero costume. Here we go! And we're talking about a map! Not like that one, actually. <laughs> but everybody knows how very important it is to keep superheroes' identities a secret. Er, uh, don't take it personal, Sue, but your mask is not animated film accurate. Let me just... Uh, Ta-da! <laughs> what do you think, Susie? Wow, so cool, Sammy! I'm lucky you're such a fan who remembers every detail. Guys, support Sammy with your thumbs up! He really deserves that. But Susie deserves that too! Just look at how well she's doing! Oh, Sammy, come on! I'm just enjoying making crafts. Or saving the world and helping people! So, would you be so kind to help me and bring me the blue paint? Hey, 
you are! But what for? To make Ladybug's unique hair color, of course! I bet you remember Marinette has black hair with a bluish tint! Have you ever thought about changing your hairstyle? You should defo try pink! Oh, Sammy and his love for pink! <laughs> What does that have to do with it? Really? You and Pink? No, there's absolutely no connection. <laughs> You're laughing at me and don't even notice that you forgot something important. What are you talking about, Sammy? Good macaroon, Susie! How are we supposed to save the world without a weapon? My apologies. I'm still new to all these superhero things. Here, Miss Ladybug. Take your yo-yo. Now you're ready to save the world. Let's take a look at her, guys, before she starts her mission! Ahem, Sammy! It's such an honor to be on a team with you! But I can't work without Adrian! How could I forget about Cat Noir? Susie! I know, I know, but I can't decide which one of these to choose. Oh, this riddle is easy to solve! We should take this one! She resembles Cat Noir more, therefore it'll be easier to remake her! Sammy, you're a genius! What would I do without you? Sue, dye the hair! It's very important! He's blonde, don't forget it! I know, don't worry, Miss Ladybug! Everything will be great! Girls, while you were chatting here, I painted Cat's body! We have some work to do, remember? And you did such a great job, Sammy! Now we need to cut out the previous girly hair, like this. Don't forget about safety while working with sharp objects! Ask an adult to help! After that, we'll cover the head with a piece of polymer clay to make a hairdo. Leave it to me! I know everything about French hairdressing trends! Wow, Sammy, you're a great master! But I didn't sit back, too! Look what I've made! I could repeat the hairdo with ears for you, Sue! Oh no, thank you, though! Sammy, if you could have had a superpower, what would it be? I already have one! Everything I do, I do perfectly! Hop! Hey, guys! I want to take part, too! Cat Noir, let me do something! You won't regret it, I promise! Wow, he looks so real! To make his eyes shine is another of your superpowers, Ladybug! What about you, Sue? What superpower would you choose? I would like to make the decor appear by itself! That's it? That's not a superpower, Susie! Only one spell and it's ready! Look! bibbity bobbity sub See? Told you! Oh, Sammy, Sammy! Superheroes in witchcraft are in different universes! But the belt looks really cool! Would you look at them, guys? Such a nice couple! Guys, listen! We have to do it! We have no choice! I don't know, Sammy. I think just two of us can easily deal with the bad guys. We have to do that! I heard Evil Goblin is raising his troops! It's all right, guys. It's always more fun to work as a big team. Isn't that right, Sammy? You defo know better. <laughs> Sue, hurry up! I'm not sure, but it seems I saw Siren Head! Chloe is so stylish. Fingerless gloves, triangle top of the boots. If you're a superhero, you're not only strong, you're slick, you know. Maybe I can become a fashion designer for superheroes? I'd like that. And for villains, too? Huh? Technically, they're kind of superheroes. While they're fitting, I'll have enough time to persuade them to turn good. Ladybug and Cat Noir will handle T-Rex. The girls, Goblin, and I will fight with Siren Head. Sammy, a real superhero always keeps a cool head to make the right decisions. It's not a joke, Sue! The toys are in danger! Sammy, Sammy! Try something slow and repetitive to chill out. Like cross-stitching. 
I got it! Can you please start working on Rena Rouge? I'm sure it will help you calm down. No need to ask! A great deal is yet to come! <laughs> he gets so carried away so easily. Sometimes I have to shift his focus to something else. Wow, what is it? Interesting. No, Sue! Don't touch that! It's Akuma! It'll transform you into a supervillain! It means Hawk Moth is coming! We need to hurry up! I told you! How the great Tibidaba I can work fast! And without losing the quality! Great, Sammy! Oh, it seems like Chloe and Rena Rouge had their suits sewn by one hand! I should have made these triangles on the boots, too! Sorry, Mr. Goblin! It's only for the good guys! Hey, Sammy! Did you see Goblin? I was chasing him, but then he just disappeared! Let's go and find him together! While the boys are playing, all we have left to do is to make a hairdo. Be very careful with the scissors! Better work with an adult at this stage. After that, we're making a brown hat like this. I like stylish hats with a purpose! I think it's a hint to give us a thumbs up, guys! Do you mind an old but good trick? Huh? Looks so great! Susie, would you be so kind to check my head? I have a strange feeling on top of it! <laughs> Sammy, you're turning into a fox! But these ears will look much better on Rena Rouge! Attention, guys! We're at the finish line! It's time to remind you to subscribe to our channel! Sammy, step aside! Ladybug has an idea! Her ideas are always great! Oh, you flatter me, Sammy! Voila! Wow, Sammy, just look at her! She looks exactly like in an animated film! No time for entertainment, guys! We're here to save the world! Wait, guys! Let us check you out again before the fight! You're right! After this, we won't look so neat! You're looking at him. Say hi to the girls again. And then we're gonna throw a themed pajama party. What do you mean? Where are Pikachu and the others? All right, I got it. We're gonna sew cute pajamas for them. Exactly. Do you want a jammy too? I can make one for you. Nope. We have to dress up four dolls. No time for ourselves. Take this. Okay, let's get started. I have paper patterns for all the pieces of each outfit. Trousers go first. We'll outline the shape. Sammy, help me with the other colors. Got it. Ugh, these are blending. I believe in you. Here is the first outline. Now let's carefully cut out the shape. That's easy. I wouldn't be so... <laughs> Just like this, the first fleece piece is ready. We're going to deal with the other ones in the same way. Machine. Hey, Susie, you stole my thread. Oops, will you help me? Mm, no. Ha, <laughs> just kidding. Guys, we'll start sewing. If you're unsure, ask an adult for help. Yay, our first theme. Keep going, Sue. Right, let's continue working on the pants. Don't worry, each seam is Pretty. Give a thumbs up if you agree, guys! Yellow legs and yellow tail Pikachu is cutest <gasps> Sammy, come on! We're running out of time! We're having a party with Pikachu, Sammy. Don't be so stiff. We'll make it in time. Look, 
I'm already sewing the back part of the costume. I am looking very closely. <laughs> Only upside down, but it's fun. Here we go. Go on, show us something fun too. After all, we are crafting here. <laughs> if you say so. All right, we're gonna need the sleeves and... Ta-da! This is what we've got, guys. Susie, I got stuck with the tail. <laughs> Check this out. Seams are nice. Great job, Sammy. Phew! Guys, I thought I'd turn gray before figuring it out. <laughs> Guys, it happened for real! Oh, I wanna be young again! Don't worry, Sammy. You'll become yourself when I finish with the tail. Then tear off this fake beard! I'll sacrifice it for the crown. I'm afraid you're gonna need to shave. I'll do it! And no white strand will be left! Guys, we need to sew on the tail. Remember to be careful when working with the needle. Susie, are we gonna make a unicorn pajama too? What color? Yep, I'm thinking of a pink one. Awesome! Please continue. I'll be right back. Hmm, he looks suspicious. Anyway, we need to move on. Pikachu also has cute little ears with black tips. We just need to sew these pieces together like this. I'm back, and I've kept some stuff exactly for the situation. Thanks, Sam. Let's fill up the first ear. Sammy, where are you going? Hey, I can have secrets. I want to show her something. Let's go. Guys, we'll solve this mystery later. Let's make another ear. Cool. The last thing we'll make is a hood. It consists of the outer and the inner sides. Here they are. So let's get to this. You'll attach the ears and then sew together both sides of it? That's right. And don't forget about the border piece between them. Are you spying on me, Sammy? Uh, it's not me! <laughs> All right, let's just wrap it up. Wow, looks cool. It totally slaps! In the meantime, I'm gonna take Miss Independent for a girl's chat. Sounds mysterious. <laughs> Guys, we'll sew the pajama to the outer side of the hood. Be careful and look out for your fingers. Try not to prick yourselves. Now we can sew up the inner side. This part can be really tricky. Ask an adult for help if needed. Phew, it's the cutest pajama I've ever seen. This is the result. The ends of the sleeves and trousers look messy though. Whoopsie, I thought it was Pikachu style. <laughs> We'll sew the tiny cuffs on these parts, and it won't be a problem anymore. Here comes some Velcro for a comfortable wear. We'll attach it to the front, and that's it. The sleepover party is getting started. Let's get changed. Susie, I've got an idea. Let's spawn in Pikachu with a Pokemon ball. Pikachu, I choose you. Wow, you look gorgeous. Uh, Sue, I think she wants to dance with me. <laughs> Wow, Sammy, you even blushed. It's so cute. The red cheeks is a finishing touch for this outfit. Get ready for a pajama dress. Aha! You're vibing here while I'm up to my ears and work. Sorry, Sammy. I promise the real party won't start without you. Let's keep up with the sewing. The second pajama has cute kitten ears. And that's it. Susie, come on! Hide the ears between the hood layers. I promise I'll keep them safe. And we shouldn't forget about the border piece. It's sewing time. Wow, Sue, you're so good with the sewing machine. Now we can attach it to the pajama dress. Ahem. I proudly present to you the best piece of craftsmanship. Wow, Sammy, you did great. It even has a pocket on the front. Guys, you're already familiar with this process. Let's get started. Do you remember how to make the cuffs? Let's add them to the sleeves and the hem. You know, I won 100 battles with other Pokemon. Wanna fight me, huh? Susie, wait, I haven't finished yet. Um, hello? Ah! What is going on, Sue? I just thought that you would want to dress her up yourself. After all, you designed this. Here is your pajama! Hey, why are you peeking? Close your eyes, everybody! Wow, she looks perfect, right, Sue? Guys, check out this cute kitty! She can't wait for the party. Susie, it's all her fault! 
she dressed up herself! Almost all the guests have arrived. Pikachu, Kitty, and, uh, Sammy, I don't recognize her. Holy cannoli, it's my fault. I took the decor to play for a bit and I got carried away. Finally! It's nice to meet you, little unicorn. You know, Sam didn't want to invite you. Hey, I thought you were talking about a real unicorn! Ah, this is the last guest. Wait, I'm coming! Guys, who do you think it will be? I'm getting excited. We have one more kitty! Welcome to the party! Oh, give them each other's! We have twins! I hope they won't fight. Are they getting ready for a best dress battle? Touch me, it's so easy to leave me All alone with the memory of my days in the sun If you touch me, you'll understand what happiness is Look, a party has begun Wow, that was the most dramatic start to a party I've ever seen Now the real party's starting over. I can't believe it! to land on Pandora and meet baby Natiri. Grr, the tiger friend will help deliver the baby to the transformation. First, we'll use some clay. She already looks a bit like a Navi. And now we will cover the doll with blue paint from head to toe. Well, let's draw your eyes, shall we? Come on, it's going to be a little ticklish. <laughs> and let's not forget about the patterns of the Navi people. So beautiful. With a thin brush, we will apply blue patterns to the arms, legs, and the whole body of the baby. Let's make her hair from twisted pieces of black ribbon. They look like real braids! And the traditional Navi hairstyle is ready! Just check her out! The only thing left is to make the baby comfortable clothes for the jungle. Well, now we're talking! Let's add a couple of accessories! Whoosh! <laughs> and everything is ready! Come back to the jungle, baby Natiri! Adventures are waiting for you! Huh? Huh? What was that? <gasps> oh my! Ah! <laughs> Our characters met and became good friends! Look, they're having a picnic! Whee! <laughs> It's so much fun with friends! Baby Natiri is happy. Let's <laughs> <laughs> to the top of the tree! Get down! Wee! <laughs> Get down, baby girl! It's time for you to sleep! Come on! For a peaceful sleep, Natiri needs a cozy hammock. And of course it must be beautiful! Let's decorate it with plants! Oop! And oop! We'll add the rarest species from Pandora's jungle! Here we go! So pretty! Well, Natiri, are you ready to see your new home? After fun games, the baby will sleep sweetly in her bed bed. Rock-a-bye, baby, under the trees, la 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 la. Olay, baby! Who ordered slime for the party? <laughs> hey, shush! Can you not be shouting? Ah, excuse me, please. Of course, a baby sleep is very important. What was I thinking? <laughs> <laughs> she said shush! Haven't you heard her? While everyone was arguing, a seed of a magic tree landed on the baby. Wow, this has never happened before. Iwa is talking to us. It looks like we're in for a new transformation. Hello again, little girl. I've seen you've grown up a lot. Amazing. With age, Navi people gain new beautiful patterns for their skin. Their hair, by the way, also became longer. Here's the outfit for you. Wanna try it on? 
Holy cannoli! I have to take a picture for my subscribers! <gasps> what? <laughs> Gets me! Nateri, wait for us! <laughs> and where is Sam? Huh, did they lose their minds? Ouch! The dolls got tired running and decided to rest. Every one of them is busy. I wonder what the stars will tell us today. I will create a real primeval masterpiece! You'll see! Hey, where is Betsy? <laughs> where could she hide? Where are you? Girl, <coughs> she will never find me. Don't worry, I'm already here. Hey, was I expected here at all? <laughs> Sammy, Sammy, let's go! I'll show you how to make a kite! Is that possible? Shiver me, Cheddar's eye! The body of the kite consists of two cross sticks. We'll lengthen its wings with shorter sticks. And here's what we've got! It's great, isn't it? Give us a thumbs up! And now, let's draw and cut out the wings from foam paper! It's simple. When the wings are ready, let's paint them sky blue. We'll add some fluffy feathers. Wow, lovely! Just look at this beauty! <laughs> and our kite takes off for its first flight! Look, it has already chosen our Natiri as his main friend! Fly, <laughs> my dragon, fly! <laughs> Let go! I went to the best slime art school! I know how you should draw that! Wow, what is this? Marvelous! Natiri has found our secret stash with objects from Earth! <laughs> Only our primitive friends have no idea what's what! <laughs> oh, what a wonderful thing! What is it? <laughs> That's a funny hat! <laughs> Thank you very much! In all that fuss, no one noticed how little Natiri disappeared from the view! Our little girl is waiting for a new transformation! And by the way, now she is a teenager! She will definitely need a new outfit! And let's not forget about the Navi's accessories! Well, now Natiri is ready to return home! La la la! Oh! What an interesting boulder! Wow! Natiri solved the mystery of the smartphone! She knows how to take a selfie! By the way, be sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell button! <laughs> oh, <laughs> Sam shouldn't have showed her the game! Now she is stuck to the screen! Hey, Natiri! Hello! Let's go hunting! Uh, she doesn't hear me! Quick! We need to save Natiri from the phone! <gasps> what? Whoa! The help is on its way! Who has such big wings? Whoa! This is my Taruk! Let's fly! Let's go higher! <laughs> what a flight! Let's make our own dragon! We twist a piece of thick wire and fix the parts for legs and wings with tape. With the help of thin wire, we form the tail and paws. Oops! Taruk is not very strong yet. Let's add some foil for the volume. Perfect! And now we will form the body with plasticine. Is everyone ready? Bam! That's what you should get! Level the surface so that the seams are not so obvious. Wow, look, our dragon has opened his eyes! And then you need to fry it until it's golden brown! Oh, come on, don't fry, but color it! What is wrong with you? Oops, I guess I googled it wrong! Sorry, Susan! We have already attached foam paper wings. All that's left is to add texture with acrylic paint. Woohoo! We are already on our way to the next adventure! Stay tuned! <laughs> oh, I love my planet Pandora so much! And I still can't get used to it! Ugh, release me! Look! During her strolling, Natiri grew up again! The spirits say it's time to meet Iwa! Great! We already have a glowing nightlight to create a magic tree. Let's knead the clay. Hop, hop, come on, work harder. We'll decorate its foot with the pieces of colored clay. This will be the bark of our magic tree. And to add even more similarity to it, we will make a few furrows. A luminous tree will have a shimmery bark! So beautiful! We'll decorate the branches with pipe cleaners. Just wrap it around the branches like this. 
The unusual leaves complement the image of the sacred tree. And now let's see how beautifully it glows in the dark! Wow! There's also music here! It's like a radio! And the girls are chit-chatting at a distance. Everything is possible in our fairy tale! Hello? I want to order such a tree to Earth! <gasps> What's the cost? And I have a plan to make my friends happy! How many seeds do you think will be enough? <laughs> Susie, it's your cue! I'm taking over! Let's attach the lights to the garland with lanterns! Wow! Our decoration is ready! Let's run to the forest! Susan, hurry up! My friends are already here! <laughs> Where did she take us? Alright, I'm gonna open my eyes! Awesome! Look, the whole forest is glowing! I've never seen anything like this in my life! Finally, my friends and I will have a party! Hooray! Did you call a DJ? Even if you didn't, here I am with the music! Um, and these are your dances? Seriously? <laughs> Dancing is so much fun! Sammy, don't grumble, join in! Natiri wants to sleep! Let's make her a spacious hammock! We tie the net to two wooden sticks with strong knots! Let's get it up in the air! <laughs> we'll cover the bottom with large tropical leaves and decorate the hammock with flowering vines. Beautiful and very comfortable! Here we go! Today, everyone played great and fell asleep really quickly. Our characters are seeing the tenth dream already! And it's time for me to go back to Earth! Who misses me? Watch more videos on our channel and subscribe! Bye-bye! Wow, 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 let's see what's on the news! Hop! The Snow King and the Queen had a lot of winners huh? here! Everyone is invited to the palace to meet their new princess! Huh? Wow! Oh my god, I gotta hurry! Yes, but such a serious vis-a-vis, -vis, you need to clearly uh, prepare properly. Uh, now I look like I should. And what should I give to her? The earring? Oh no, let's make something incredible from it. Carefully get rid of the sharp tip. And glue a silicone cap instead. Like this. No royal gift is complete without precious stones. With such a sparkling chain, Sam's gift will definitely be outstanding. And it's a gorgeous pacifier, ideal for a princess. Whoa, this is classy! Give it to me, Sue! Sorry, uh, my way! Coming through! Everyone has gathered here to greet their future queen. Finally, our pink slime also managed to break through the crowd. Oh, your highness! From a fabric that looks like shiny snow, we'll make a top for a little Elsa. And a piece of glue, too, is perfect for cute pleated skirt. We'll braid her snow white hair and decorate the elastic band. Every princess should have her own throne. We'll decorate it in Elsa style. Blue foam paper with beautiful shiny elements. Light blue or a darker one? Hmm, why choose? Let's use both. Let's add cozy soft pillows. And embed a few elegant beads to the back. Well, your highness, what do you say? Everyone wants a list of ruins of attention from the princess. That's right! Well, show! Show all of you! Go! Come on! Go home, yo! Oh, those people! There, there, dear princess! I know what will calm you down! Here, this is for you from me! You're gorgeous! Wow, well done, Sam! And this is for your resourcefulness! Oh, I think I'm flattered! The little princess is supposed to get her daytime rest. Cut out the pieces for the slat seat from foam board. And glue the back slightly at an angle. Lace will give the royal sleigh a truly winter pattern. <laughs> it's like our sled has been carved out of a piece of ice. Let's make this kids. Oh my precious! Hey! Come on! This is just what we need. We'll paint two candy canes in the color of the sleigh and glue them in their place. Awesome! It turned out great! Ew, look at the sophisticated handles I made! No, no, no! I'll do it myself! Ah, that's what I thought. And here's how it should have been done. Easy. Wow, what a beauty! And it shines so bright! Amazing! The nanny will give the princess a little sleigh ride so that she can sleep better. Excuse me! Give me oh. that! I'll ride it myself! I'm an honorary nanny with an order! Come here, highness! What a disgrace! Wait, you! Just hey! Wait! Wait! <laughs> no! 
Oh, Elsa, where are you? Oh, you little prankster, come on out! Oh, wow, how fast you have grown! Let's brush you. Now we're talking. So it's time for the royal classes. But this little fidget is not so easy to be seated down for studying. Your highness, stop it! Oh, shooting me cheddars, when will it end? Your highness, cut it out! I'm back you! I understand that one nanny's order is not enough for you. The nanny knows all about good manners and the rules of conduct in the kingdom. A true princess should not only know how to wear a crown. After theory, they moved on to practice. It's time to welcome guests. Oh, princess, I came from afar and I want our kingdoms to be friends. The best conditions for small talk, of course, are over a cup of a tasty oh, tea. Oh, thank you. Uh, nothing to eat, huh? Let's make a miniature kitchen for our little princess. One, two, and the basis for the working area is ready. The cooker is gonna be here. Great. And a little sink fits perfectly next to it. We need a dish drawer. Snow-covered doors, by the way, are the hit of the season. Let's add a few cute yet very useful little things. And the final touch, or rather, the final drop of hot glue. Lovely! Now there are icicles everywhere. It's worthy of a hundred likes, huh? But no kitchen can do without a table and chairs. Let's see what's here. Hmm, it's too plain for a snow princess. Now this is completely different chair. See for yourselves. Little Elsa can feed all her toys. Have a sit here, Mr. Plushy Duck. Would you like some refreshments? Let's see. <gasps> a delicious stew made from fresh snowballs. Here you go. Bon appetit. It's so cute that even with her toys, Elsa behaves like a princess. Now it's time to take a breath of fresh air. Oh, what a lovely day today. Elsa was walking in the park, daydreaming. And suddenly, a snow whirlwind burst right out of her palm. <laughs> The princess herself did not notice how she used her magic for the very first time. We cut out two triangular pieces from a shiny foam paper. Let's make them stronger by gluing them onto foam board. Add more glue, and a solid base for the slide is ready. It's gonna be super slippery. <laughs> Adults may help with the pieces for a solid wooden ladder, but you can paint and decorate the steps yourself. With such railings and fences, the slide is absolutely safe. And now it's even more beautiful. Oh, I just have to try it out. I'm going. <laughs> that was fun. Oh, it looks like there's someone in the bushes. Hello, I'm Emily. Let's play together. Of course. I'm Elsa. Let's race. And now the young princess has a best friend. Well, isn't that great? <laughs> <laughs> Replace the doll hair with snow white threads and give her outfit a royal look. Elsa has grown up and goes to school now. Ah, oh, so much homework today. And how will I carry all the textbooks and notebooks? Night Sam is ready to save a damsel in distress from any higher breathing beast. Get out! Go home now! And you better help huh? me carry all this. Ha, easy peasy. I'm willing to lend you my backpack. Oh, what a real knight you are. But this backpack is not quite in Elsa's style. Whoosh! That's better. Elsa, how did you do that? Pretty simple. Take white foam paper. Cut out two identical pieces of the shape we need. Put them together with a strip of shiny foam paper. Make a small hole. This way you can fit a lot of stuff in your backpack. We'll add a strap and secure clasp on its top. And make a pretty clip art on its front. Let's work with a brush. Just a couple of touches and our backpack looks even more like Olaf. A pair of simple straps complete our craft. Textbooks are in the backpack. It's time to go home. Hey, what's this on the announcement board? Song contest? That's great! I so want to participate. Wow, just look at this scene. So elegant. Let it go, let it go. Can't hold it. Oh, <laughs> I mean, I wanted to say me and you can just that. Let's make a microphone stand from a piece of straw. The cork block missed something, and we'll use it. <laughs> a wooden skewer will also come handy. Let's glue it all together. We'll shape the microphone from air plasticine. Now let's add more color and brightness to it. And here's the most beautiful decor in the Frozen style. And the microphone is ready. Elsa takes the stage full of determination and begins to sing. Ah! Holy cannoli, princess. The audience is thrilled. Yes, well done. Keep it up. Oh, I mean, Elsa! <laughs> you are amazing today! Oh, 
thanks. You're so nice. <laughs> Congratulations, Elsa. Well done. But this is far from the end of the story. Aw, oh, we found an old manuscript. But it needs a proper cover. Attach shiny rhinestones to a piece of foam paper. Apply a frosty pattern along the contour with acrylic paint. Additionally, decorate the edges of the cover to your liking. Well, why don't we have a magic book with a magic crystal in the center? Now not a single page is gonna get lost. Cool. Elsa has grown now and all the secrets of Arendelle will be revealed to her. Whoosh! Come on, princess! I'll teach you how to turn broccoli into ice cream! Whoa, Elsa can't wait to try. What is the first spell? Abracadabra boom! <gasps> and a simple chair turns into a delightful royal throne. Assembling the foam board base is not so difficult. Elsa's favorite color is blue. There you go! The ice throne will not do without icicles sticking out in different directions. Even if they are just made of shiny foam paper. A throne worthy of a future queen. So comfortable. I wonder what else her magic is capable of. A couple of shots for the daily Arendelle. But as soon as Elsa began to pose, a bunch of snowflakes accidentally escaped from her hands. Oh, uh oh, help me. I I'm a little stuck in here. <laughs> <laughs> wow, Elsa's unplanned magic has turned Olaf into Prince Charming. What? Elsa is happy, but what's next? That is gonna be another story. So did you like this video format? Give us a thumbs up and we'll shoot some more. See you later!